Hello, Just Jacks here and welcome to my channel. Halloween theme month, so let's continue. We've done quite a few things that have been your stereotypical darker side of Halloween, so dull mummy. I mean, a pumpkin's quite bright, but and the cubism witch was very bright. I thought, how about we have a jar of magic? So we're going to try doing this a little different today and we're going to colour the inside so it's contained. I've done away with the lid somewhere. I don't know where at the moment. So we're going to have some fabric tied with string over the top, with a little label saying magic <laughs> or something a bit more creative. We'll see. We might just have it tied up with string because, you know, if you know your spells and you know your magic, you don't need everything labelled. You'll know it by eye. So, quite experimental because I've never tried this particular idea before, but I think it's going to work. I've got some really cool, like, coloured, mixed coloured glitter here that I put a bit of all sorts in. Um, I think that'll work instead of because I was going to pick one particular colour, but it's like, no, I think this one will be appropriate. Now, for some reason, I put another tub of glitter in there that's exactly the same size, you know, bar a couple of mil, as the neck here. So I can't get it back out. So we're just going to roll with that being in there for the time being. Um, what we're going to do first is using Yoohoo glue, I'm going to swirl around the inside. Fill it full of glitter real quick because this dries real quick. Let that dry completely. And then I'm going to add these pearl colours one at a time and also just rotate. So put a blob somewhere and then just spin it round and try to go for covering the whole of the inside. That's what I'm going to try. So let's just try and do it. See what happens. Could have probably started from the bottom and worked the way up because um, my swirls are sort of getting scraped back off. But that's all right, we'll go for an eclectic look and a really sticky top um, tube now because I've sort of smeared glue all around it. So let's pop that up there and let's not use that side, let's use that side. Make a racket. I'll clear this excess glitter up in a moment because there's going to be quite a bit of that. Right. Lots of sparkle flying around. I will be blowing glitter come the end of the day. Okay. Interesting start. I'm going to let that dry and then give it a really good tap. Now, it won't take long to dry because it's you who glue. So while that's drying, I'm going to gather my glitter here. And get it everywhere. This is a really nice combination. It's a good idea to do if you've got lots of little bits left. And you don't know what to do with them. They're too little to actually do any projects with all in together see what you get okay we have our super sparkly <laughs> jar let's see if we can get this next stage to work oh oh it's um are you done are you done spilling out you haven't done spilling out oh there we go. <laughs> I'm going to get messy. Right, let's 
see if this might be a bit of a slow process. I'll try and keep the top there clean. We'll see if we need to get this. We'll see if we can get this to run. Although that's kind of working. Uh, the, I'm going to start flicking paint around the place, aren't I? And glitter. Paint and glitter. Well, it's having an effect. I don't quite know if it's the effect I had in mind. Well, we have started. We're going to finish. This is an experiment after all. Oh, we're getting something. It's not quite what I had in mind, but we're getting something. So let's just roll with it and see what happens. This one even open. Oh, it isn't. Oh, pearl dark purple's never been used. About to get messy now. Well, oh, fancy that. I oh, feel bad for the purple. Well, now's it's time to shine. Let's try and get some of the yellow right down the bottom there. Uh, the, on the outside of the jar now. I want to keep the outside of the jar clean. Inside can go however it likes. Outside. I can get a bit more in there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> get you in there as well. Try and shoot you down the bottom. Oh, yeah, that went down the bottom. coming out really nice and colourful. I don't know if it's quite what I wanted, but let's say we're going to roll with it all the same. Oop, that definitely went loads of other places. Not completely where I wanted it. I don't know where it went exactly, but I'm pretty sure it. there's going to be some pink somewhere. Let's try and get this in places. Oops, yep, there we go. There's some green there. In all the nooks. Oh, yeah, a bit down there as well. Oh, oh, and there it is coming out there. <laughs> oh, it can be very messy at times. It's a surprise. I keep the place so clean. I've got to resist the temptation to get my finger involved. I've got to kind of let it do its own thing. 
I'm gonna let this dry and we'll see what we've got come the end. We're definitely gonna have a jar of magic. That is well, here's our jar of magic. A magic potion. My original idea was for us to be able to drop a tea light in there and well if it's really you know what if it's really 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 dark you might get a little light come through you might I don't think we're gonna get it dark enough Have I got anything to block the light out with? I kind of want to think, well, I've got an old towel here. Well, where it's yellow and orange, it gives off a little bit of light. So I'm not going to worry about making this an atmospheric light. We will try again another day because I had an idea after I got carried away with this. Now it looks cool. There is nothing wrong with the way it looks. It definitely looks like a jar of magic. So we'll, we'll still keep it like that. It'll just be a nice decorative piece. Something you can put in your windowsill or on your mantelpiece. We will come back to this another day. But I'm going to mix the colours with PVA glue. To one, make them more runny and also adhere to the glass. Because if I water them down, they're just going to wash away from the glass. And also, it'll make them semi-transparent. So, what we're going to do to finish this one off, our non-light-up magic jar, is we're going to give it a nice top. So I've got a little scrap of spotty fabric here. I might trim the corners. Because we're hanging over quite a bit. So I quite like that, but then we won't see as much of the jar of magic. Which like I say, I'm giving it a hard time because it didn't pay off. But it still does look like a jar of magic. So we've half achieved what we wanted. Now, the elastic band is going to be hidden. We're just using that to hold everything in place. In fact, we won't not not. Well, we can not not because this isn't coming off, is it? So yeah, I'm going to not not. And finish it with a little bow. So there is our jar of magic. <laughs> I can't give it too much of a hard time. It still looks cool. It's not what I set out to do. Being completely honest, as I've told you, I wanted it to shine. I wanted the colours to glow. And I mean, they do. They're very bright colours. We'll definitely come back to this. Like I say, it's a nice piece to put on your mantle. If you want to have like, you know, a bubbling cauldron somewhere and you want some jars of goods to go in that bubbling cauldron, there's a jar of goods. It's a jar of magic air. 
like I say, it still looks cool. I'll, I will stop giving it a hard time. It still looks cool. I still like it. It's still fun to do just because it's visually pleasing watching the paint all swirl. Um, again, being honest, I could see things not working off the bat because I wanted to have a spiral of glue with glitter. And it just, <laughs> it's, it's like someone just flicks a load of glue in there, which is kind of how it went. So yeah, if you want a jar of magic like this, then by all means go ahead and make it. It's still cool looking, it still looks cool. If you want to hold off and see if we can successfully make a light up jar of magic, in which case we will keep the lid but we'll glue fabric on top and a string so it's got the illusion but you can still open it and close it and take the light in and out we will come back to this and try and get a nice colorful light up jar so thank you so much for stopping by and checking me and my channel out i hope you've enjoyed this i've always said i'll be honest successes and failures this isn't a complete and utter failure but it's not a success as far as what I wanted to achieve. Like I said, I keep telling it and I think myself, it's still cool. It still is bright and vibrant and pretty and looks like a jar of magic. Like if you like what you see, comment if you've got something to say and subscribe if you really like what you see and you want to see more and know when it's coming. Thank you all again so, so much. Take care and see you in the next one.